To take advantage of the interactive features of the NGSS, obviously you've got to go to the website. Uh, these don't work in the PDF, and then when you get to the website, you click on the tab I just clicked on, the Next Generation Science Standards. And there, there are a few different ways to view the standards, and it's important to note that um, the appendices are over here, and there's a lot of important information there, um, as well as the standards themselves. Uh, we'll just click on the uh, DCI arrangement of standards, and there are a few ways to, to work your way through here. Um, for the example, I'm going to go to my home discipline and, and go to the Earth Sciences, and we'll take a look at the middle school. And here you'll see a set of the set of five performance expectations that go with the middle school Earth and Space Science number three, Earth and Human Activity, and that's disciplinary core idea number three. Um, and you'll see that as you scroll over, things pop up. You can turn those off, um, and it will bring you back here for some unknown reason, which is weird. Um, but I don't actually want to turn them off, so I'll scroll back to where I was. And leave them on. Um, it defaults to going in black and white, but you can highlight uh, the different dimensions. So I'm going to switch over to practices and core ideas, and you saw the text of the performance expectations change color. And the performance expectations are written so that each one of the sentences that is a performance expectations has that is a performance expectation has each of the three dimensions within it. And we are right now set to highlight the practices and core ideas. If you scroll down below the performance expectations, you'll see how the color coding works. So blue is highlighting the science and engineering practices. Orange is the disciplinary core ideas. And you scroll over it and you can see which science and engineering practices are included in a particular performance expectations or which disciplinary core ideas. And you can switch over to practices and cross-cutting concepts, and that changes the color coding. So again, in blue are the science and engineering practices, and now in green we have the cross-cutting concepts, and again you scroll across it and uh, it shows up. And if you keep on scrolling down, you can get to the found, what are called the foundations boxes, which has the three dimensions in a little bit more detail. And again, with interactivity here, so if you click on any of the science and engineering practices or any of the disciplinary core ideas or any of the cross-cutting concepts, it will take you to that in the uh, science frameworks, um, the K-12 uh, framework for K-12 science education. And it will take you to the relevant uh, pages within that. And then you can just click your back button and uh, go to other aspects of that. And again, from the framework for K-12 science education, scroll down and find the relevant content on the page. Click the back button to go back. And so that's the foundations boxes. And then underneath that are the connections boxes which the first line of the connections boxes is to other DCIs within this grade band. So you can click on there and it will take you to the related content within middle school. So physical science uh, three energy is what I happen to click on. Um, below the box that's within grade level is going or within grade bands. Below that is articulation across grade bands so you can find related content um, from K to 12 and click on any one of those and it will take you to the relevant uh, performance expectations. So I clicked on the high school version of Earth and Space Science Disciplinary Core Idea 3 where we've got another six performance expectations. And I click the back button and scroll down a little further. And in the connections boxes, the last boxes to the common core 
standards for English language arts and literacy and mathematics. And again, if you click here, it will take you to the relevant um, related content. And same with mathematics. And that is a very, very cool, helpful thing to do. Great feature of the online version that you just don't get in a PDF or a printout.